Hobbs House is about a curse of this haunted mansion. So every time something or someone is threatening the mansion, a curse breaks loose. Basically the undead or like the dead from around the area which are buried on the grounds are actually crawling out of their graves. And we have two sisters, they inherit the house and the curse breaks loose because basically um, someone is threatening the house and well then it all develops, unfolds in our zombie film. Um, I think she would be looking out, yeah, because there's a cut, there's quite a bit of dialogue in the scene prior to it. Right, so you run into the edge, you're having a look out, you throw yeah. the gun down? Gun down. And then you prep yourself for the jump to go jump. down to the... Okay, cool. Are there any zombies behind you? Running for uh, no, them? they're banging on the wall the door, almost ready to burst. In. Right, okay, cool. And me and my sister are like, getting ready, having a bit of an emotional moment before. And does McKenna come out after you? Before. Before. Okay, so she's the one that goes down first. Jane is quite um, a kick-ass kind of role. She's very useful, very practical. She has um, had a bit of an argument with her family, so she's not really been around her family for several years, and she hasn't seen her sister in a really long time. So they meet in the film for the first time. So there's a lot of anger about her, a lot of hurt as well, because she's had a pretty rough life, like her 20s have been really, really rough. So I think she manages to use a lot of that for the action fighting scenes. So she's practical, she knows how to survive. Currently today, we've shot a couple of stunts. Um, so me and Vari escaping the manor um, were chased out by zombies. Um, so we got to throw ourselves off the edge, um, which was brilliant, and then the zombies come after us. So we've shot that so far. Um, we've got a couple more, couple more stunts to come up today as well. Um, so yeah, it's really exciting. So today is one of our exciting days because we have our zombies, which also means that we kind of uh, pull shots here and there just from scenes to actually make most use of our zombies and uh, then just continue with the normal business um, during the other shooting time. So today we had also our stunt guy in, um, a stunt actor, and we had like uh, the final scene where the two sisters jump out of a window to actually run to their escape, trying to escape, and the zombies break after them through the window and then try to actually go after them. One falls out of the window and the other's just kind of like all, all over the place. So um, yeah, today's a fun day, like zombies, action, everything. No, I'll tell you what, what about using okay, that pallet? You can lose the box, is the box gone? We want to see your face, yeah? So you're looking around and then you look over there because that's where the that's where they are, yeah? This is your close-ups, yeah? So like really milk this, yeah? Do all your voices, all the sounds and that, yeah? Here we go. Okay, Marcus, let's roll sound, turn over on both cameras. One second, Jeff, you good? Yeah. Sounds very good, please. Okay, board in. As the film progresses, she meets her estranged sister again, which I think is almost like a spanner in the works for her because she's very good at keeping her emotions in, um, at holding this front, at being very contained, very clean, very polished. Um, and then when she starts to see Jane again, it's almost everything comes unraveling um, very, very slowly throughout the film. And then once they're thrown into a life or death situation, it's almost the reality of what actually matters to her, whether it is this image um, and this very clean front, um, having this Instagram perfect life or whether it's family um, and kind of which direction she heads from there. So she's a very interesting character to play from that perspective. Ooh, sorry. I'm trying to breathe. <laughs> Yeah.
Sleep 30? Hey. 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 Cool, right? That's That's cool. would be, uh, my timing was awful and he still nailed it. Like, <laughs> every time I was off, he still did it. And, like, he's amazing. So, so yeah, much it's fun. Great fun. <laughs> so much fun. Yeah. Yeah. Stay at the office, jumping out of the window, oh, no. smacking up zombies. <laughs> the kind of story starts with this fable. Um, about these three kings that used to own the, the land and they were brothers and uh, one of the brothers got a bit greedy kind of killed his uh, killed his brothers killed the other kings and then um, tried to take over this home the estate that we're filming in um, which ended up then the land being cursed the lead characters are these two female sisters that have to come together um, to basically lift the curse it's all about uh, um, uniting and unity in their lives they haven't spoken for like 13 years so it's kind of like sisterly love and relationships. I'd call it actually a mixture out of a uh, traditional ghost film and a classic zombie film. So the first half of the film is more traditional haunted house story. And then it, when the curse um, develops, it develops into a zombie film. Let's, let's try. Ready? An action. Just drop your zombie posture when I say go. Like you just kind of you relax, like basically get normal and then slowly go. We don't see her for very long alive, I should probably say, and I think that I'm allowed to say that. And uh, when we see her later on in the film, she's like this. So to start with, when she's alive, I think she is, she's nice. And uh, later on, of course, um, well, you know, she's amoral, I think, <laughs> being a zombie. I've frightened already a couple of people in the corridor, including the director so, and one of the producers. So, yeah, I've, I've come looming out at them just walking back from, from the toilets and they've kind of jumped, literally. So that's been quite pleasing. I'm about to go into my zombie makeup. Um, so, yes, it is the first time I've done a proper zombie film. And I'm loving seeing some of the supporting artists today because it's the first time we've seen them as zombies. So uh, when I arrived, I had a pretty late call this afternoon and um, to arrive at the location and see the undead walking around has been pretty good. <laughs> so what causes the zombie outbreak in the film? Without giving too much of the plot away, um, there's an air of mystery around the house and the character of Alex um, who has passed away. And it's at the reading of her will. Um, that all of the characters get brought into the house. Um, so there's something legendary and mystical about the house and the, the, the character of Alex, um, which is passed on as a story. I can see that you have legs and everything. So, so what, I wanna, oh, Paul, what, what I basically want to see is from her just this. So basically, she, we need Ooh. to be here, for example, okay. like if she's lying like this, or I need to twist her around like this. Okay, as well. I can come right back. back. Um, it's a genre which is, you know, iconic. The whole genre, you know, with so many films that have passed before and so many different types, we've got a real sort of interesting um, twist on it because it's a hybrid of the haunted house meets the zombie genres, um, meets kind of vampire elements as well. So there's a bit for everyone. You have the creepy haunted house stuff, which kind of really can freak you out. But in a zombie film, it's, it's more like a short scare when they kind of uh, break someone in or something like that. But besides that, it's more disgusting. It's more grueling. Uh, than actually like scary that in, in, in a haunted scary way. So we want to make it real, but we want to entertain. Marcus? Yes? Uh, just checking, they are not over. 